Okay, let's work on the give and go. Like when you're having a food allergy attack? That's not a give and go. Sure it is, coach. You give yourself epinephrine and you go call 911 when you're experiencing symptoms of anaphylaxis. Anaphyl what now? Anaphylaxis. It's your body's reaction to a food allergy. Hey, Chip, what are some of the symptoms of anaphylaxis? <laughs> Tongue swelling, throat closing, tightness in the chest, coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath. Don't forget dizziness. Itchy hives and redness are common too. So, if I've just eaten some food and I'm feeling any of these symptoms, I don't hesitate. I give myself epinephrine following the instructions on my injector. It's very safe. And I go, call 911 immediately as symptoms may return. Talk to your healthcare provider. They'll help make an action plan that works for you. Take action. After I give and go, I always tell someone too, like a teacher. Oh, nice give and go technique. Oh, I'm talking about the original give and go, the basketball one. Heading off anaphylaxis symptoms is the most important give and go you can learn, coach. Just ask Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis. When severe allergic reactions strike, give yourself epinephrine and go call 911. But he's a football player. Am I? There's only one shot I care about. The shot of epinephrine you give yourself before you go call 911? That's the one. Did you guys rehearse this? When food allergies strike, remember to give and go.